Johnny. You know, everyone is talking about this match from Liverpool's perspective, but how is Another game, another important game, tough challenge. It's the final game of the season, we want to compete as usual, as the same. Why do you think you've had success against the top teams already this season? It's not only against the top teams, you cannot be measured by only the games. We've been competing through the season with good moments, bad moments, trying to improve always. And the team is being able, the squad, I think this is what is important. How we did it, how we compete, how we play, who, who we did it, did our fans enjoy it. So all these things is what measures. And the improvement of the team, I think, was, was natural and obvious. It is obviously a big occasion because of, of what is on the game. Do your players and management staff relish this sort of chance? Sorry? Do you relish this opportunity that you have on Sunday in front of a, a huge crowd, a huge stadium? Do the players rise for the big ones? The players rise for every game, for every training session. This is what we want to... This is the idea, the philosophy. Every moment of your life is important. Prepare yourself for the competition. Of course, it's a big, big game and we want to play it. And Jurgen Klopp has done a great job with Liverpool so far this season. From an opposing manager's viewpoint, what do you think of his work so far? Fantastic. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. What do you like about it in particular? I like the team. I like the team. The way they play, the intensity that they, they put in their actions. I think it's it's hard to find someone that doesn't enjoy and someone didn't enjoy the game against uh, Barcelona. was fantastic, amazing. You've had the three wins on the run now and this final game of the season. Is it really important to finish on another high? What would a, what would a fourth win in a row mean to you and the players? We have to compete. What we want is to compete. Always the focus is on our preparation to the competition and to the game, to play the game and, and be focused on the tasks. After we see, let's play. And finally from me, um, you've been nominated as one of the Premier League managers of the year in great company. Does that show the work you and the staff have done here? I think all the managers, not only in the Premier League but around the world, deserve a prize. All the managers. It's a tough job. You know, it's, um, you're guaranteed to finish in seventh no matter what happens in this final game. Has that exceeded your expectations for this season or is that the sort of part that you aim at? I already answer. We cannot be measured by, it, by the table. We, we measure ourselves but how we did things, how we play, how we compete with our squad, how we improve, how we wanted to do things and sometimes we did not. Um, this is what we aim for, not the table. So by the measures that you set yourselves then, what would you rate your season? Good, good, good. And we had, um, we knew that since last season, uh, the idea that we had, we wanted to, to keep with the same idea, no matter what level we were. We were in the Premier League, we stick with the same. Um, there were bad moments, but we were able to bounce back. That showed the character of the players. And we'd be able to compete in a quite good good way against tough, tough opponents, but with our own idea. So we did good and we still are inside the competition, so we still have to go till the end on the same standards. And to you as a manager, do you look forward to the season finishing and having some time away from the game or do you wish you could go on forever? We never go away from the game. You never go away. You have a, a chance to rest. Uh, for me it's important that I'll go back home to stay with my family and but you never disconnect you never you always with work to do and tasks to to be focused on and inevitably on, on Sunday there'll be you know a lot of attention on this game because of the what it means in terms of the Premier League title race I mean games like that surely for you as a manager are games that you want to be involved in yeah, I want to be involved in every game sir every game even in a pre-season game, I'm always involved in the game. Do players at this point, do you feel they need, uh, is it good for them to have a physical rest now for a period of time? I mean, the, the, obviously you'll, you'll soon be back in only a few weeks time, but 
as well as they've gone and we haven't seen any signs of tiredness in the performance, is it now a good time for them to have a break for however long? It's a natural time. Mm. It's a natural time for you to to rest. But as you know, um, it's not a, a passive rest, it's an active rest. So the players will be involved in their own programs because the worst thing is that, that you totally lose your form. So you have to restart again. So our idea is never to lose our form, so it will be an active rest. Okay. But it's, it's good. Okay. So do you individually set that up for yes. each player? They've got yes. their own programs? Yes. Right? Yes. And are the, the disciplines that they've had through the season, you obviously are, are, are certain they, they've got it drilled into them, that, you know, the general way they live their life, they carry on doing that even when you're not seeing them every day when they're away on holiday. No, all, everything is programmed. Everything will be scheduled. The first two weeks, but you know that we are we have a lot of players involved in national teams, so we have to take it individually. Each one of them has their own program and their own days to do the, these programs. So the idea is that when they come back, they'll be ready to start. I'm sure it's been a great learning experience for them this season. For you and your staff, is it a learning experience as well, a whole season? Like every day, every day is a learning process. I told you many times, not only in sports, in life, you just have to read the signs and, and be aware of them. Okay, cameras up please, guys.